Nikon D850 specs are slowly leaking out. Here's the latest. NikonRumors.com put out an article last night with the three latest specs to the D850. First and foremost, the D850 is supposed to shoot 10 frames per second, and that's without a battery grip. Most of the time you actually have to add the battery grip on to add the few extra frames per second because it gets the extra power from that second battery, but this is without a grip. So that's straight out of the box, 10 frames per second. The 810, which is what the 850 is going to be replacing, shoots about five frames per second in FX mode. If you go down to DX mode, you might be able to get six or seven out of it, but really who wants to do that? Nikon's flagship D5 will shoot 12 frames per second. So if you wanted to save a few thousand dollars and instead of buying the D5, you buy the D850, you'll only be giving up two frames per second, dropping from 12 to 10. Honestly, I'm really surprised Nikon would give that much power to the 850, knowing that potentially they could lose some of the sales for the D5 with just that little bit of difference. But at this point, it's all just speculation. But at this point, it's all just speculation. Even if the 850 does shoot 10 frames per second, we're going to have to wait and see how it does in the real world to see if the processor and see if the buffer can keep up. Because if it can shoot 10 frames at only a half second or one second, then that's nothing compared to the D5, which can go for several seconds at a time without having any issue. And the D5 would still be way ahead. But if it can keep up, then that could be a game changer. But on paper, the 850 is a ginormous improvement over the 810, which was an awesome portrait lens, but that's basically what it was used for because it couldn't really shoot high-speed sports or action or anything like that at only 5 frames per second. The second piece of information from NikonRumors.com was that the 850 will be using a different battery grip from the 800 and the 810, which used the MBD12. This isn't that big of news, but if you do have the 800 or the 810 and you have bought a battery grip for it, knowing if you buy the 850, you're going to have to replace it. And finally, probably the biggest piece of information for anybody that's in the market for an 850 is the price. According to Nikon rumors, it's going to come in at about a thousand euros higher than what the 810 is right now. A thousand euros is about twelve hundred dollars. The 810 currently sells for about twenty-eight hundred dollars. So if you do the math, that means the 850 will be coming in somewhere in the range of four thousand dollars. Although the price jump is a little excessive, at least in my mind, in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that big of a deal. If you're willing to put down $3,500 for a camera, you're probably willing to put down the $4,000 for that same camera as well. Until some more D850 news breaks, which should probably be about any minute, that's it for now. If you have any questions, you can comment below or you can message me. As always, be sure to subscribe and thanks for watching.